Hey guys, today I'm back at Adam's house. So I, Adam told me that he attempted to weld an exhaust that he wanted to straight pipe Nicole's car, which is this one over here, the 1JC S13. So I told Adam, let's do a three inch to four inch blast pipe out the back. And then he decided, he thought it was a good idea to go ahead and try TIG welding it. So this thing right here is supposed to be the pipe and here's Adam's welds which I'm actually so surprised they're not that bad to be the first time Adam ever TIG welding I'm actually really surprised that's really good to be his first time welding but today it's also gonna be the day that I'm gonna teach Adam how to TIG weld I'm gonna get him to properly TIG weld stainless steel which is what this exhaust is and I'm gonna have him stacking beads with full color today. Anyways, before I do that, I gotta get Nicole her little cappuccino thing, cause I told her I was gonna get her something. Oh, I'm gonna get this, I gotta figure out how do I open this door now. Nicole, are you there? Hello? Oh, I'm gonna get this, I gotta figure out how do I open this door now. Nicole, are you there? Hello? What's that? Are you there? I got I got the goods. <laughs> I think they did you they, make it special? They did it. They didn't put like half the cup this time. Remember last time last I got you one? It, it was, was like, like halfway. It was all like foam. Did they make it right? Mm -hmm. Alright, sweet. Thank you. It's almost as good as your chocolate chip cookies. Do you eat them all already? We have one left. <laughs> Do you want it? I should probably sneak into the kitchen and grab it. Do you want it? I want to make more. Like I was craving cookies. Yes, I was talking about. It's like people are like, oh, you put like a pound of butter. That's like that's the whole point. It <laughs> that's adds why flavor. So good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they literally were crunchy on the outside. And exactly. On that's the what the butter does. You, the butter crisps them up, and I still like the salty flavor on the outside and then a sweet chocolate inside. They're so good. Right. You should, you should add some peanut butter next time. Uh, we could probably do that. Peanut butter and maybe like a little like lizard decoration on top. Lizard shaped chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna put gummy bears. I'll taste hideous. No, like, oh disgusting. god, no. <gasps> anyway, today I'm gonna teach Adam how to weld. Cause he... How do you think he's gonna do? I, I'm, I'm you gonna... Should start, you should start with icing on a gingerbread house. <laughs> and, like show him the technique. <laughs> and then, and then put it over and do He that. didn't do well, so like... bad on the pipe. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it, I, I just showed the guys a pipe and I'm gonna teach him how to weld full color rainbows today. Hopefully he can get it down. You showed the guys? Yes. What about the girls? Well, there's like very like it's only ah, one point six. We can well or whatever. It's one point six percent of girls who watch this, according to my statistics. Nah. <laughs> I don't believe it. They're just watching on their boyfriend's channels. Or that. <laughs> they just want to see. You All right, so I, Nicole says if you got girls, say hi or something. Yeah, Comment yeah, yeah. below. Let him know below if you're a girl watching this. Video. I gotta see Even my if statistics. You're watching it with your boyfriend. Even if, see if the one point <laughs> six is like true or is it actually more. <laughs> I got my hair. Oh, you got blue on there? Mm -hmm. I got reds. What you got? How You got a rainbow head now. What I are you know. doing? I just wanted to look like Christmas. That's very Christmassy. I thought it was going to be more like a green or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Adam. So, I saw your welds. Yeah, they look great. They're, right? they're, they're actually pretty good for the first time. But I'm going to go ahead and use the little handy dandy. Look, it matches your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then grind this off and try to like fix them because I know there's a few holes here and there. I'm gonna grind it all smooth and then run a bead across the whole thing and fix it up for you. Did you already tell them what I did wrong or should I tell them? Um, I think I did. Okay. Do well, you want to like have like a brief thing on what you did? I don't, I don't, I, I want to hear your version. I didn't sharpen the tungsten right. I had the the tungsten was too far so it was like splurging the gas everywhere i had the ac on which i shouldn't have had yeah and uh i was inexperienced well you did really well you know if i was in a jam and i just you know to, what's like, funny connect I... two pieces of metal they're connected i want i want to bring this out there you want me to go like what i'm just gonna go like a little savage no just... go savage go savage on me alberta <laughs> no no <laughs> what what's up you did better than taylor's first time did i <laughs> I, doubt I just want to, I know, I'm just kidding. I just want to give Taylor a hard time so he comments on the video so I'm going <laughs> to say something about it. It'll be funny. That would actually make him really mad. <laughs>
I would like. I feel like uh, Meg would be a lot easier because there's not like so many things to be focusing on. It is, like, but time. stainless steel should be welded with um, TIG and stainless steel filler rod. Gotcha. You'll see how it looks like in a little bit. Cool. I went ahead and cleaned off the pipe a little bit. That way I can run a bead over this and try to make it a little bit nicer. I tried fixing it, I did a couple beads all around it, so at least it will fill all, all the thinner parts and everything so that way the weld is stronger. It doesn't look the prettiest since the metal underneath it was really oxidized and I couldn't grind the whole thing off, but it is a lot better than what it was now. The pipe is already done, and we're gonna cut Adam here because it's like, what do you have? Are you Asian now? Hey, don't do that. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're trying to get rid of this muffler thing that makes the car sound like this echo thing. It's like, Ooh. and I'm thinking about cutting it right here straight, take the muffler out, and then put the three inch to four inch transition here. It's like all the way out here. You can see also the bumper um, is uh, the, the gap on the muffler and the bumper is a little too big, so I'm gonna try to close that gap and also center the pipe over. So it looks a little bit better. Only challenge is gonna be to cut these hangers and make them reach the new pipe. Hopefully by raising the pipe a little bit closer to the bumper, I'll be able to make them reach. If not, I'm gonna have to try something else. So first, do you, like, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, are you gonna, I feel like you should weld these after, no? So like attach yeah. it to here first and then use this to figure out how to position it. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll, I'll line it up, I'll this. line it up where I want it. And after I weld it here, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is going to be the hangers over here because this hanger is literally going to hold the whole pipe together. I know when people weld a lot of times underneath a car, they'll like make it or whatever and they'll do it while they're under the car. Wouldn't it be easier if we just detach it at this flange and then do it in the bench? Yes, I'm, I'm going to cut this, uh -huh. put it back, align the pipe where I want it, then tack weld it, mm. align it again, make sure I position it where I want it, and then I, I have to weld it on the bench. Right about here. The axle back is cut, but now we have an issue when you put the tube not in Adam's mouth in the car and you want to put it where you want it or put it right where it needs to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. there you go. So once you put it where it needs to be, you see that gap, that means I'm gonna have to grind the tube and angle it more that way. So I'm gonna have to grind it from this side. That way it's flush where I wanted to weld it. That way we'll have a better weld. We got the whole pipe already mocked up. I got it where I want it. This is the spot weld right here. Check this out. 
Yeah, rainbow. And then I reused one of the hangers. I tack welded it on that side and over on this side. It was very difficult to tack it in the car standing up. Now I'm gonna weld the rod, hold it together, and then weld this part over here together as well. Adam's now tightening the back flange and then we're gonna get ready to test it. I lost Can't. the 17, okay? Oh, wait, I, I thought you had you fun. <laughs> this is how Adam tightens his nuts with big bulky wrenches because I, he I can't- I like the hard way. He can't find the right tool. I just want some Chipotle, Alberto. So you got this nice garage and you can't find a 17. Bro, stop. <laughs> anyway, check this out, guys. Blast pipe. Uh, tell me what you think about the fitment. I did a pretty straight cut on this and then I think I got it right at the perfect length. I think it looks really good. This way it won't burn the bump. It burn it won't burn the bumper anymore. Also wait before you go down, you guys gotta see this. Check out these welds though. I wonder who did Look at that. I mean it was a little hard to get it straight because I was welding standing up and the pipe was moving on me, but from this to this, even though this is like their repair attempt on Adam's weld. <laughs> it was right there behind you. And this is what it looks like from this side. What do you think guys? I think we did a very good job. on Adam is running a, a bead. Let's see how well he does with this. I set up the machine so he can floor all the way at 33 amps without blowing up a hole in the pipe. Oh, I wasn't floored. That was my issue. Oh yeah, floored. You good? Oh, I touched it. I held it too close and touched it. Yeah. Leave it there for now. Now like wiggle. So I decided to take the trash can, uh, the, the, well, the thing off the trash can. <laughs> I don't throw it out, I polish it a little bit. I did a little MFG logo right here. I'm showing Adam how to do beats. He started with this right here. Then I told him to adjust the settings real quick and look at this last progress right here. This is Adam's last current run right here. Look at this color, nice, well defined beats there. Now I'm gonna get him started to run some filler wire. It's gonna make it so much more difficult. <laughs> yes. I'm over here adding some filler, or enough to hopefully not to the tungsten. No way! What is that? Hey, other than the little yeah. hole at the end, that was pretty decent, right? Wait, come on, soon. What are you doing, camera? Why is there a hole? You went too hot. Oh and, yeah. And you also dip. What do you dip? What do you mean what I dip? Yeah. Look, what's that black stuff there? I didn't touch the tip. I promise. Oh, it's probably it burned through the carbon on the other side of the muffler. Oh, let's see, filler wire number two. Oh. Oh, did I touch the tip? Yes. Damn it. It's right on the tip there. 
I'm pretty impressed with that one's not too bad. Yep. Good thing I sharpened a whole bunch of tips again. <laughs> throttle, Sammy, throttle. Floor it. Come on. There you go. I wonder if you can see through the mask. Oh, you can. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. You're dipping way too forward. Dip in more in. Move a little bit faster. You're, so, you're like stopping in one spot. Dude, I can totally get like the whole thing on camera. It's really cool. i never done this before. Not that like cool. Yeah, it's much better. Damn, look at that. Another cool down for the post flow. Zoom out on this thing. Let's see what you did this time. Not too bad. Dude, that's great. That's so much better. It's it not, looks like it's, it's still a little hot though yeah, now. Yeah, still hot. So what does that mean? What do I do differently? That you're, you're going too slow. slow. Uh, this weld is a lot better, dude. That's that's it. That's what you want. Sweet. You nailed it. So I'm ready to do some roll cages now. Uh, Which is the yeah. one that I just did? That one. That one. I'm assuming in right, this right now. Right here? No. On this one. Out, yes. Oh, I just did that one. Yes. Sick. That's perfect. Look, there's no like sinking in. It's perfect. It's really pretty even right there. That's really good. Sweet. You're doing better than Taylor. Don't say that. All right, guys, time for the big boost giveaway. You guys all been waiting for this one. So I have over here, hashtag big boost on Instagram. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scroll through all the posts about it and then randomly select one um, by scrolling through the pictures that you guys tag with a big boost. So the hashtag again is big boost wheel. Uh, what I'm gonna do is like literally like scroll through like a bunch of pictures. There's like 700 posts about it. I'm just gonna go around this and just gonna look away. And wherever it landed, I think it selected one. Nope. Scroll a little bit more, stop, and then click on one. It's not working. This is harder than I thought. Do you need help? Do you want me to scroll? I'm like, I'm like scrolling and I, I like hit it and it doesn't even select the thing. Oh, yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> oh oh my god. Like, so you want to help me with this thing? So I probably like do it right. Alright, this one. What was it? Did you get the right Mediocre stuff? bass player. Mediocre bass player. More like mediocre. I just want a new steering wheel player. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Me. Wait. Mediocre bass player, you are the winner of the Big Boost Wheel giveaway. I'll be contacting you before I post this video, this video to get your details and get your shipping address. I can get this sent out right away. And then hopefully you enjoy the wheel. And then guys, be sure to buy the Big Boost Wheels. They're up for sale on the page. They're a limited edition. We're only doing like one batch. So get yours today. They are in stock and ready to ship. And you can have the same wheel that I run on my car, which is like Deep Dish 2 a 350 millimeter drift wheel, so that's already cool. And I will get to try it whenever I tune my car, so you can drive my car really soon, hopefully, really by the car. next event. I'll probably run a BMW after I drive your car. I love E36s. It should definitely get a BMW. <laughs> It'll make really good, better videos than the 240 over here. Uh, which is always broken, look. <laughs> it's like, always broken. I didn't say anything, he's not seeing me, he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, with that, I'll be finishing today's video. That concludes the welding part. So Adam learned a little bit about welding and then you guys see the results and also posting a video about it. Uh, I'm really stoked that Adam actually was able to learn how to take weld in one day. That's really awesome.
He got really upset at me at first because he thought that I changed the settings on his welder. He was like, no, <laughs> but I didn't change them. It's like changing the tune on your race car. It's literally it's like, oh, I have to retune it again. I didn't save the logs. That's why I was like, no, but I didn't. But he didn't know, so it's all good and it works. So now I really hope that you enjoy the steering wheel. Mr. Master, I forgot the name. Oh my God. Bassmaster. Bassmaster thing. Was it something else? It might be Bassmaster. Bassmaster something. We don't know if he likes fish Anyways. or likes instruments. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the steering wheel. The rest of you guys, check out the steering wheel on the website. I'll be posting the link below on the description on this video. So please smash that like button and subscribe. I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. I'll be working on the interior of the car, which I was supposed to be doing today, but then Adam hit me up about doing the welding stuff. I thought it was a better idea than working on the interior of the car. So I did this instead and it made a really awesome video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, that's not me farting. That's the floor again. Bye bye guys.